Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part four of this series. And I changed it up a little bit. And actually, I want to put red because we want hairline. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you a couple. We're going to, this is the last video, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to show you. Whenever you use the smart fill tool, you got to go and break the curve apart to be able to uh, change some things and select some things. If we look at this under the shape tool, that line has 66 nodes. That's a lot. I am going to, you know, it's hard when you're working on the inside. A lot of times you could uh, put stuff to the back of the page or that's what we're going to do, back of pages. And then you can grab these parts without hitting. Well, yeah. also you could go to object and lock it. So now we can grab these parts and I'm just going to delete them. If you remember that one had 66 nodes, take the two point line, three, a three point curve line and just draw like a curve here. And then you could, do several things, just take another one and reduplicate it, or you could actually hit plus on your keyboard and make a copy of it. Now, yeah, I'd want to take a lot of time to space them out and, and so on and so on, but I want to show you the difference in the nodes. That line has two nodes compared to what it did have. I can't remember what it did have. What is it? That one has 51. That one has 51. 61, 81 nodes versus two. And if you start your line this way, you want that arrow to be going here, especially in plasma cutting. Laser is not gonna matter too much. Your plasma cutter is gonna cut a little hole and then drive down here and leave. It's gonna cut a little hole and then drive down when it pierces. So you want your items in that arrow. Now, I said this is going to be the last video. I hope it is because I'm going to. We got that locked, remember? We'll keep it locked for right now because we're going to change this eyeball. It's a pretty cool eyeball, but there is 50 nodes in each of them. There's 100 nodes. So what I would do is select them both. Let's see what our, it's, this thing is huge is 61 inches. So let's change it to eight inches. The eyeball is just six inches tall. Let's make a duplicate and nudge it up. And then we can play with the duplicate. <clears throat> a couple of things you could do. And I would maybe try this. I love the three point curve line. And we're just going to go and make a curve line. Then take the shape tool and grab your handles and bring the, the lines down. Of course, we're going to have to put them closer together. We want kind of that arc. And you could play around with this till the cows come home. And then you got to remember it's an eyeball. Who's going to say, and you want it to, you want, basically want it the right side. <clears throat> and this is something that could work. Take the artistic media tool. Pick one that has tails on both ends and put it on your line. Uh, on all artistic media tool, you sometimes you have to click left or right, up or down to make it thicker. Left click, right click. Now, really, the most important thing you could do is, I don't know why that's popping up, is to get rid of this original line so you've got to go to object break the artistic media apart because you don't want that line. Whoop, I got the wrong one. You do not want that center line. So let's look at the nodes now. If you remember it had 50, now it has seven. Nodes are the most important thing you can get rid of in plasma cutting. We're gonna get rid of a few more and we're not even changing the shape. We got it down to three nodes, folks. Four nodes, two nodes. But I don't like this in plasma cutting, and that's what mainly what this video is about. 
double click with your mouse button and get another node. Select them both, right click and turn them into a smooth node. You could still change them a little bit, you know, do whatever you want to with it. But then do that and you'll have four nodes. Four nodes instead of 50. Then once you're done, hit the plus key on your keyboard, holding down the shift key and draw. Now we're not the right size and we're not the right angle and we're not even the right uh, shape. But I will take that eyeball over this eyeball anytime in plasma cutting. And if I would have, you could have left it there and bring it in and make it bigger. Okay, one more thing real quick and then we'll wrap this up. Shape tool, we have this locked. Let's unlock it now. <clears throat> Go to lock and unlock. It's not too bad around the eyeball. You know, you've got to, if anything you delete, it could possibly change the contour of the, you could safely undelete every other one. And just take your time and go around, you know, like that one. Didn't need it. Didn't need it. Now you can also, you need, you've got to have these. You've got to have them in the teeth, but you don't need that one. This will make your life a lot easier. I'd actually bring this down. Then you could get rid of that node. And I've got two sets of lines again because my smart field must be setting on top of it. If you don't smart fill and then move it away, you know, that's, that's a mistake when somebody was drawing it. Whenever you got double lines and, and I ought to do one more about E cuts, removing double lines for, I think it's $59. I use it. I don't actually have it on 21 yet, but I have it for my older version. So I have to, See, it just don't, you just don't need these nodes. You know, the less nodes you have, the better. I mean, look at this. There are a bad spot. Ooh, terrible. That's called it, I call it a curly cue or a turnaround. There's two nodes you definitely don't need. This isn't bad in plasma cutting, have that little bit of an arc. The whole thing is pretty good, but if you did my idea, and it, and I, I, I think I said it in previous videos, these are just my suggestions. I'm not a plasma cutting expert. You know, this might be a good candidate for this. Select all of them, make sure you get them all, and use the slide bar up here. And, well, let's back up. 99 notes. Let's do this. Let's hit the plus key on the keyboard and move that out of the way. Take the new one, take the shape tool and select them all. And let's, let's just type in the, the number 20, 74 notes, not enough removed. Take the slide bar and you can actually see it remove them. That's probably about as far as we can go. 55 nodes versus, to read nodes, you have to take the shape tool. We cut it almost in half. Let's look at the difference. They're almost on top of each other. You can't tell me that that wasn't a good move. I mean, let's take the shape tool and do it one more time. 55 nodes, and I guarantee by hand, we could get a few more de uh, deleted. You know, just, you know, once you get a little bit more accustomed to it, I don't need those two nodes. 
I might not need that note. It changed, so I got to go back. I don't need that note. Didn't change. Don't need it. Changed a little bit, not enough. Changed a little bit, too much. You know, you could always delete that node and then bring that curve back. Now, here's a, a good one if you're not a follower. This is a right click and turn it into a cusp. Then when you hit that slide bar, only one side of it turns. Now I'm gonna delete a few more and call what my mentor Roy Brewer would say, job complete. And somebody was asking me, well, a lot of people thank me and that really makes my day go really good. You know, if they could pay me. I, I'm not gonna do all the work for you, but 46 notes. But I, I love doing it, I love teaching, I've learned a lot. So now we're half the amount of nodes and I guarantee you won't be able to tell the difference. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching. We still, you still need to clean up that.